Greetings, subscribers! The 1984 film The Karate Kid is probably my number one favorite movie of all time. It was followed by several sequels, and now in a popular streaming series, Cobra Kai. Today, I'm going to tell you one piece of trivia about The Karate Kid which nobody knows. And when I say nobody, that may not be literally 100% true, but I'll bet it does include the cast and crew of the film, as well as the producers of Cobra Kai, who are often credited for knowing so much trivia about The Karate Kid. Anyway, here it is. When we see the scenes of the Cobra Kai Dojo in the original movie, and the third movie, this was filmed at a real karate dojo on Lancashire Boulevard in North Hollywood, California, and a few years earlier, in 1982, there was another movie called They Call Me Bruce, which also filmed scenes in this very same dojo. Yes, the Cobra Kai Dojo of Karate Kid movies can be seen in another movie. And a pretty funny movie, that is. Okay, that seems a little short to end the video at that, so I'll quickly tell you some more trivia. The high school scenes were filmed at Charles Evan Hughes Junior High School in Woodland Hills, California. So the high school is really a junior high school, and the same school was used again as a high school for the 1985 film A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I'm pretty sure that's my least favorite Freddy movie ever. The beach scenes, both when Daniel first meets Ali and Johnny, and also first learns the crane kick, were filmed at Leo Carrillo State Beach, which was a filming location for many, many other great movies and TV shows. Way too many for me to mention or show you clips of here. However, I will mention that in the summer of 2015, I visited this beach. And I have to say, of all the movies and TV shows I've ever seen filmed here, I don't think any of them fully captured just what a gorgeous beach this really is to visit. And at the end of the second beach scene, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi encounter these two guys drinking, and one of them is played by actor Larry Drake, who is best known for the TV series L.A. Law, but also had a major role in a movie I love called Dark Man, which starred Liam Neeson and was directed by Sam Raimi before he did the Spider-Man movies, but after he did the first two Evil Dead movies. And Larry Drake also starred in perhaps my favorite episode of Tales from the Crypt, in which he played a psychotic axe murderer dressed like Santa Claus. And speaking of memorable Christmas episodes of a TV show, in the 1980s there was a show called Amazing Stories, and I'd like to talk about Season 1's 11th episode titled Santa 85. I honestly believe the actor who played Santa Claus there, a virtually unknown actor named Douglas Seal, does the best job I've ever seen any actor do of playing Santa Claus. And he also played Santa in the 1988 movie Ernest Saves Christmas. But anyway, the actress who played Mrs. Claus in this episode of Amazing Stories is Frances Bay, who also played the lady with the dog at Daniel's Reseda apartment building, and she briefly reprised her role in The Karate Kid 3. And she also played the grandma on Happy Gilmore, the popular movie from 1996 with Adam Sandler. Oh, and does anyone remember the soccer coach in Karate Kid? We barely even see his face, but he was played by an actor named Peter Jason, who also had a pretty big role as Gilbert in the 1988 movie They Live, a pretty great cult classic from legendary director John Carpenter. And now for some trivia about They Call Me Bruce. At the beginning, we see this boy played by actor John Louie, who also played Mr. Wing's grandson at the beginning of Gremlins, the 1984 classic. Oh, and remember in Gremlins when we see Kingston Falls Town Square? What we're actually looking at there is a set of another classic movie covered in artificial snow. That's the set of Hill Valley from the Back to the Future movies. And speaking of Back to the Future movies, the actress who played Marty's girlfriend Jennifer in the sequels is Elizabeth Shue, who also played Daniel's girlfriend Allie in The Karate Kid. Okay, I do realize what a movie geek I am. What can I say? I hope you at least enjoyed listening to me geek out today. And if you did, and you'd like me to make more videos geeking out with more trivia like this, please just let me know in the comments below. Or if you don't, please tell me that in the comments below. Please just comment either way. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and please hit the bell. Thank you.